Hi guys, this is Edson from Eyebrow Lab. Eyebrow mapping is one of the most important steps before any makeup procedure. This is where we can give balance and symmetry for the face of your clients. There are so many ways to measure the eyebrows. You can use a golden ratio caliper, a compass, a strings, but this time I'm going to show you a very easy and simple way using only a sticky ruler. So let's get started. Before I begin with any mapping procedure, I let my client sit first, analyzing her eyebrows by taking picture with open eyes and closed eyes. I do eyebrow mapping with clients laying down because that is easier for me. Before I begin, I will find the very center of her face by lifting the skin or pinching the bridge of the nose. The eyebrow area has two bones, the frontal bone and the temporal bone. If you place your finger in between those two bones, you will feel a cut or a socket. That is the end of the tail of the eyebrows. Peel off your sticky ruler and make sure to keep the paper for later use. The advantage of this method is to prevent cross-contamination. We want to use disposables as much as possible, especially with this kind of treatment. Place your sticky ruler at the very center of the face. The sticky ruler has lining at the middle. Make sure it will meet the markings that you made on her face. To determine the beginning of the eyebrows, I get the paper from the sticker, place it at the side of the nostril and at the side of the bridge of the nose. In between, I mark the guide. And that is where your starting point. Then copy the guide on the other eyebrow. The other way to determine the end of the eyebrows is by placing a ruler at the corner of the nose, meeting the corner of the eyes towards the eyebrows. Just a quick note, make sure your pencil is always sharp. I sharpen my pencil from time to time during the mapping. With your client's open eyes, mark the highest point of the eyebrows by placing the ruler at the corner of the nose towards the corner of the iris up to the brows. Then you can just copy all the markings to the other eyebrow. By taking the ruler out, we will now do the shape. By placing your finger, you need to feel a socket of the bone and that should the highest point of the eyebrow should go. Carefully mark it with your pencil. To make exactly the same height to the other eyebrows, you get the ruler, place it on the lash line meeting the arch if you look on the ruler, you will see that the marking is at number 6. Then you copy exactly the same on the other eyebrows. We will check our work later to see if they are symmetric. By shaping the eyebrows, I always begin at the tail. Place the ruler on the arch towards the tragus. Tragus is a part of the ear. Make sure it's in the middle and at the peak of the tragus. Then slide your pencil and begin the shaping. For some reason, we want the tail to be more lifted. Then we can adjust the sticker to the cruise of helix that is one centimeter higher from the tragus. Take out the sticker 
and do it on the other side of the eyebrows. Just copy the process. Once you master this technique, you will never use your compass again because this is very easy. Don't worry if your lines are not too perfect because we will do a cleanup at the end of the process. I will also show you how to check your work using your phone digitally without making use of any app. Check the height of the tail by using your ruler and make sure that they are both the same height. On the eyelid towards the bridge of the nose, you need to feel the socket of the bone and that is your baseline. Mark it with pencil and that will be the lowest point of the brow. Proper shaping of the eyebrows is all about feeling the bones. It's all about bones. I always like to finish the tail first. Under the arch, draw a line towards the end and that will be your tail. Always remember that the tail is the thinnest point of the eyebrow. It's time to complete the shape. For some people, it's always hard to make a line. What I normally do, I make a broken lines and later on I will connect them. Again, if your lines are messy and not perfect, don't worry because we will do a cleanup later. With regard to the thickness, I always like to follow the natural flow and the thickness of the eyebrows. And lastly, connect the head and the arch. You can make a broken lines and connect them all afterwards. To do the other eyebrow, get the ruler and copy the baseline and the top of the head of the eyebrow and mark it using your pencil. Do the same process as what you did on the other eyebrow. As you can see, I already forwarded the video and now it's time for cleanup. Cleanup is also important to make your shape more precise. To do a cleanup, I use antimicrobial wipes and a micro brush and I clean up the edges. It is very important to check your work before any semi-permanent makeup procedure. I use my phone to check the symmetry and later if I need to do some corrections. To do that, on your iPhone, click on phone camera and take a picture. Click on edit and look for the three dots icon and click on markup until the drawing tool will pop out. By the way guys, this option is only for iOS. I'm not sure about Android devices, but for sure they have it. First, put the ruler on the lash line and make sure it's very important they are in the same line. Checking the symmetry, you can click on the pen and draw a line throughout the ruler. That is your guide. Draw a line throughout the arch. If you don't have the option on your Android devices, then you can download the Fee app or Angel Symmetry app. This is our amazing applications. 
not very important but you can change the color of the lines as you can see I do it on the baseline make a line under the arch and at the top of the head I also recommend to do this process when the eyes are open instead of the lash line you will set your guide in the very center of both eyes which is the pupil do the symmetry checking by clients laying down and sitting let their eyes open and close the key to a perfect eyebrows is by double checking everything take your time to make corrections double check everything and don't start until it's perfect 